My name is Laura Fong. I'm an Assistant Attorney General and the Chief Diversity Officer for the Department of Law and Public Safety. I have been with the department since December of 2016. I'm born in America. I'm, uh, depending on which side of the family, I'm third or fourth generation American. My family came to the U.S. Um, initially in the 1800s. My ancestors immigrated from southern China and uh, some of my ancestors were workers on the transcontinental railroad in the 1800s. My maternal grandfather was born in the United States and my paternal grandmother was born in the United States and my grandfather on my mother's side actually grew up in the United States. He left the U.S. to go back to China to find a bride, as it were, and having done that um, successfully, my mother was born and she did not come to the United States until she was a teenager. Um, so that would be in the 1940s. My dad was born in the United States, raised in New York City, Chinatown, and as young adults, he and my mother met there after my mom came to the U.S. I, however, am a Jersey girl. I was born here, raised here, pretty much have never lived anywhere other than New Jersey, and uh, consider myself American first, and. Uh, Chinese, of Chinese descent, um, but certainly American. I think my family has typically um, embodied some of that Confucianism with respect to having an obligation, each of us as individuals having an obligation to be of service to the community. Um, my grandfather on my mother's side was the unofficial mayor of New York City Chinatown during the 1940s and 1950s. Uh, he wasn't elected but he was de facto the guy that everybody went to when there were challenges and problems. Because he was bilingual, he was born in the U.S., he was a great facilitator of solutions. Uh, similarly, my, his younger brother, my great uncle Tommy, was the first uh, attorney admitted to the bar of the state of New York who was of Chinese descent, and that was back in the 1930s. He eventually became an assistant U.S. attorney, um, and he certainly uh, embodied a commitment to public service. My great aunt, um, their younger sister, Aunt Emily, um, she was one of the first women to join the uh, Women's Army Corps during World War II. And she served with distinction and ultimately became uh, a member of the Overseas Service, which transitioned into the CIA. And she was in the CIA until she retired. So there was a great family tradition with respect to being of public service and community service. Um, also, my dad was a lifelong public servant in the sense that he taught school and he ultimately became a guidance counselor, an assistant superintendent of schools, and then a superintendent um, upon his retirement. Uh, and, and so there was this great, great commitment to, to really being part of the community, to giving back. and. Um, I think that that is an embodiment of the cultural commitment that each of us felt. Um, so I'm proud to say that I'm able to do that now, to be of public service now at this stage of my career. Um, and in some way, I feel that I've been influenced by my family members in doing that. Yeah, um, this is a part of my background that a lot of people don't know and think is pretty dissonant with my personality, but um, at a certain point in time, I was in a rock band. And um, seriously enough, 
that I took a semester off from college and uh, cut a demo record for Arista Records. And, but for the fact that Clive Davis did not hear a hit, I would not be here today. <laughs>